What is good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidit.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make some really cool melodies with stock VSTs inside of FL and I'm going to show you a few ways to manipulate them and then I'm going to give away the sample for free so stay tuned for the whole video to support it. Let's get into it. Alright so you guys know that I always make the chord progression on the video but for this one as I was looking for a few sounds to kind of demonstrate to get the video started I came up with the cool chord progression so we're going to run with that and then we're going to add a bunch of different things to it and I'm going to show you a couple different ways to manipulate certain things and make it sound different so let's go ahead and start off with the chord progression so i have the vst open flex in fl studio i also have this cool little nylon guitar that we're going to affect in guitar rig um, and this is going to be from citrus and then along the way we'll bring in some more vsts from fl and kind of add to it so this is the chord progression we're working with so far so in flex this is the preset we're going to be using this purple lullaby Let's add a few more notes to this. Let's make these sevenths. So let's go in here like this. See, we have B next and then a G sharp. So let's add that there. Let's add it again here. And then let's just randomize the velocity on this. So Alt R. And let's see how this sounds so far. We're actually going to duplicate this over here as well. And maybe we could add the root notes as lower bass notes turn them down and then we'll probably add in a few passing notes to kind of spice this up but this is just a pad so I kind of want to keep this one simple and add the rest to other instruments let's add a passing note right here that'll sound cool and then let's add a little passing note with the same note here Cool, that could sound good. We might take those root notes back over um, to the first part, but I think I like how it sounds like that. So we're gonna actually copy this into FL Keys. Let's go into FL Keys and check out how this sounds. The first thing I wanna do is strum this. So uh, Control A, Alt S, and that's gonna give us a strum. You could check out the time and tension that I have going for this. And this will give us a nice strum. Cool. So that sounds good, but what I actually want to do is go in here and uh, just muffle it a tiny bit more, uh, add a bit of stereo width, we kind of already did a tiny bit, and then I'm going to process it on its own. So I'm going to go in here, and I kind of want this to be like a darker piano. So I'm going to take out some of the low end, cut out a tiny bit of the high end, and then I'm going to add a reverb onto it. So let's go in here. Let's Put the wet knob all the way up so we can get the time sounding good. Cool, that sounds good. And I'm actually going to blend the dry in. It's usually vice versa. You would blend the wet signal in, but I actually like it how it sounds very distant. And I kind of want to just blend in the dry up front signal. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and bring those pads back in. Get a nice level going. And then, you know what, what we'll do is actually for the pad, we'll have these root notes there, but for the piano, we'll, we won't. And then we won't have the passing notes. And then on the FL keys, we're actually going to, well, we'll leave this the same. We're gonna switch the velocity a little bit so it doesn't match fully and bring our volume back up and then on the second instance of FL keys we're going to go ahead and lay some type of melody down
cool for this melody let's go ahead and link it to its own mixer track and we're going to eq it i want it to be kind of thin and it's going to have a delay on it so it can kind of be bouncing around so let's add probably like a quarter note delay i have a preset for that so this should sound good So that sounds good and then for this uh citrus i chose this nylon string i believe it's called so acoustic nylon and then i have it routed into the mixer and i have guitar rig on it so that'll create it to sound like this so this was the original and then with the guitar rig preset on it gives it like that nice reverse sound so i'm just going to have that layered in mostly as a texture so let's go ahead and find something to play with this i want to have a bit more reverb on it Cool, this is sounding really nice. And let's get some type of like sub. So let's go into flex and see if they have a nice sub for us to use. Maybe we can find something in citrus. See what they have for sub bass. We could probably get a cool bass line going with this. Let's see. All right, so let's lay down this bass line real quick. Real simple, uh, let's quantize it. And I just want this part to be nice. And then let's throw this into a mixer and put decapitator on it. Turn up the drive. All right, and now let's see what would happen if we transposed all of this. So let's go over here to transpose and let's go up. Um, I'll, you guys could pitch it however you want. Let's go ahead and maybe add uh, one more FL keys. And for this, we're going to use Rhodes. And let's get rid of Detune. Make sure the panning is off. It's to be a bit more mono. Okay, cool. So I'll kind of section this out, mix it a little bit. And then, like I said, the download will be available in the description. So this is a, just a kind of cool way to show you that you can really still make some great samples and some great loops in FL with your default and stock VSTs and plugins. My main tip would be to start off with a good sounding chord progression or melody and then find a sound that you think that you like and then go ahead and tweak it. Start messing with the attack, the releases of certain things and then add some processing to it. Maybe add something crazy like guitar rig on it and then pay close attention to your velocities because you can play something softer and it sounds a lot better and then you add some effects to it and it really can just make it take off. So don't underestimate the stock VSTs and plugins that you have in your DAW. You can create something crazy with them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, leave a thumbs up. You could download this sample in the description along with seven other samples. I'll leave a link under that. You guys can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to hit my site, lifestyledidit.com for everything else. Other than that, subscribe to your boy. Push notifications. Thanks.